over there, Witcher. You looking for work by any chance? Listen, Witcher. There are some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet them, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's dear it is, but could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over, got my word on that. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kerib cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freer watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Let me hold you. Are you gonna come or no? Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son. And now me man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son. He went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother. Grabbed a torch and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad. I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell.
for sure. Lair must be nearby.
rusty piece of armor falling apart in my hands. A monster's lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Almost untouched, hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines, sailing decor you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless... She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. should do it. Now for a place to hide and wait. Behind those boats.
Job's done. Here's the proof. Now, why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old, clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Moorays, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Thanks. So long. Scared me shitless. Only worthless fucking sailors. Brewer, don't eat so much. Why the sweat not? Because they get hit in the gut and those dirty shit hanging in their entrails. Wondering if he's as strong as he looks. Greetings, welcome. I heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped the top of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out on their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. Yelmar seems popular around here. He is crack, so. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvic lads he took on. No spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordorach man gave Yalmar the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh... What's his name? Viggy? That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. But now they call him the Loon. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forge the sails. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorok secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even... Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountain. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the town. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods. Well. Mm -hmm. Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see. All of yous. So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the giant, ask Axel, or that one over there, or Anter. I heard Grey Inga orders your son's future. Ah. I'm looking for men from Undvik. Yavors from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a race. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Tartarok? He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Unvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't matter. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. 
and thou wilt look into Gaelic bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zeracanian princess. Brave lad comes along, you sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacks my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other ass. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing, before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Glad to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the weeds rock your boat. Need to get to Undvik. Another friend seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface. So careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Oh, oh fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course. Dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Yalmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Umvik. They're dead. See now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. We'd be punished for robbing the earth of iron, forging it into blades that men kill one another with. The Freya would punish us. Perhaps they spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvik, tell me about his death. Jarl Harald the Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harold was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifted me up, tried to take me to their nest, picked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip, plummeted from quite a height, crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, Swarm of sirens swooping down on the yard, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away, brought me to hard skelly. I should go. Yeah. Greetings, Simon. Lucas decided to let you go. Nay, it was me decided to leave. Time's come to settle some scores, and you're gonna help me. A favor for a favor, remember? You owe me a debt. Pay it, 
I'll cover you and your whole line with shame. Gotta tell me what it's about first. And I say you didn't know. It's honor bind you to do what I say. Do whatever I fancy asking you. My line doesn't have too rosy a future anyway. But never mind that. What do I do? There's a lake here on Ard Skellig, near Blander. A lone hut on its shore. We'll meet there. It's where I tell you what comes next. Don't tarry long, or you'll have me thinking you're trying to weasel out. And you don't want Simon Branding to be thinking that. A witcher. He's come to kill ye. What did he do to you, Simon? Me? To him? Twas him who did me wrong. Her son killed me brother. Tricked him. Betrayed him. I swore revenge. Hunted him across all the isles. Bugger always got away somehow. So now that is... High time we end this strife. Once and for all, no more questions, Geralt. Cut him down! Out of the question, Simon. I'm no murderer. Not gonna kill him. Then you'll die at his side. Blade's not worth shite if a week on swinging it. For a minute there. For a minute, I thought you'd do it. Thought you'd kill me. For a minute there, so did I. I owed him. No two ways about it. He helped me escape from prison. Tell no one what happened here, Witcher. Simon's got a spear side cousin on Speaker Rock. He learns what you've done here. He'll vow blood revenge. Won't rest till... Enough. Not another word about pride, feuds, or bonds of kinship. You can kill each other without my help from now on.
Move it! You're the one to talk to about that. Well, I've been out of 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? Comfortable, strong and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Unvik for his armour, said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now.
said roach. To the modest abode 
Those corners I rolled To my door with his pipe To my two boys, my wife To the alcove wherein lies my beautiful life So as my strength wanes And my breath shorter grows And my sinews turn stiff and my blood's coursing souls. It's time, high time, I was homeward bound to the modest abode whose corners I roamed. I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man, another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are, they never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? My crew? They swore never to leave me, kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay. We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all, like he did the others. Your Harald Houndsnout, Jarl of Undvik, heard you were dead. We look like stiffs to you, me and me lads. Uh, well... Exactly. So they all think me dead, you say? Mayhaps it's for the best. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me, suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew. Aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor sheep they were in, beneath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. And they recognize you? No. Thank the gods. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmer? Oh, I aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Hjalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember.
find another way. slowed the pursuer. Another track. Shot him as he fled. Archer was determined to kill him. Wonder why? Hmm. Definitely came through here. Got hit here first, but kept going. going, though he could barely walk. Went this way. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. second arrow here. Got him good this time. Now where'd that archer go? Must be one of Yalmar's men. Now where'd that archer go?
Get it up. something Of course. Uh, good troll. 
Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. Again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You, you saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Yalmar? Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair, in the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Vicky the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And you catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me and I'd marinate instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm. Sail whipped about like a rag. Finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked. As if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it. If not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them arseways or something. Didn't that one. Heard tales and was so afraid of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears. Failed to hear our warning calls. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on letters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he'd brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship, then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. Croc sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Crate's return. So it started already. Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible. Stubborn and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him, man, Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Crack? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled. Especially since Ceres set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar'd only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. 
did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for Kentlin. Good. Let's go. Know the Isle well? I've never been here before. Guess you could say I've never been fond of Clan Tortorok. In fact, no one in Ard Skellig's especially fond of them. You claim Ard Skelligers don't like the people of Unvik, yet you helped them after the giant attacked. When you see of a drowned man in the storm, do you ask what clan he's from first? Point taken, I guess. But your people gave them shelter, and now you've come to kill the giant. Of course we've come. Winning back Unvik's the best way to get those folk off Ard Skellig. Any clan out there Ard Skelligers are friendly with? Well... Certainly wouldn't be those Brothar cowards. They'll say it ain't so. But a hundred years back there, Jarl walked them off the battlefield just because the enemy showed in greater numbers. And Pharaoh folk are cheats and thieves. Everyone knows it. The Twirsek of Anskelic always been too big for their britches. Now madman Lugus's clan. They're all right. Funny. Thought they were your greatest enemies. They are. But we just can't respect the other clans. Let's get going. man bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts.
someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. Another track. Blood. Lots of it.
have a quiver into her. Thank you. 
Near 20 of them. But no Yalmar. Show you the mice. Went this way. Lots of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often.
Saris has gone to Speakerog, alone. Couldn't wait, no. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Saris, she staked a claim to the throne then. And you'd have rather gone with her. I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait, still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me. Our bards sing ballads about you. My father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a skellig lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Skeleton's been picked clean, but there's something next to me. You're rare to go. I'll wait at the cave entrance. I'll make sure that madman don't run at the giant all alone.
Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. Cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind on Crit? I thought he was your comrade. He is, which is how I know what he's like to do. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big, looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that on Crit. Let me out right now. Wait here, I'll look for the key.
I knew we'd best have... Veggie, you daft bastard. <laughs> Where are the others? Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the skull said it in song. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Returned? What brings you to us? I killed the giant. Killed him? Did what my whole crew couldn't? Hear that, lots? Are you not ashamed? When you're done talking to yourself, sail back to Ard Skellig with me. Your people have found shelter there, and you're still their leader. Oh, aye. They can come back now. Look alive, crew. We've got to hurry. Got a finisher? Oh, she'll be a lovely vessel. Perfect for a funeral.
I'm gonna head back to Hard Skellig. Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed the giant, won back on Vic, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead, and the folk of Unvik can go home. And Ceres? She back yet? Yeah, and she did what she set out to do on Spigrog. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, I'm great. Ah, Geralt. How are things? I've got another voyage in mind. Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were going to help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Ceres will take care of that. You and Ciri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye. Spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye. We had twelve winters on us. Both. Any thought of continuing that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. Farewell, Uncrate.